He carries a different pressure on his shoulders. I don't think anyone else would be able to do that. The little master himself has smashed that one way over the top. He's been this fantastic ambassador off the field, but at the same time on the field, just a consistent run machine. There needs no comparison to Sachin Tendulkar. Uh, he is the ultimate cricketer. He could be playing in a dead rubber in South Africa against India, regardless of who won the series, for example, but a massive crowd would still come out to watch him. Oh, that's cheeky. When he goes for batting on the field, his fielding or his bowling, he has won matches single-handedly. Got it. He has achieved the impossible as a player. He is a legend. If you ask most cricketers around the world, they'd say he's a legend. Nobody ever sledged Sachin. That's just the way it is. I think he's been a wonderful ambassador for the game, not just uh, for India, but for the game of cricket. The expectation when he comes out of bat is huge, and that would destroy a lot of cricketers, very good cricketers. People go as far as call him the god of cricket. This is fantastic batting. We may be looking at the best batsman of all time. He's associated with greatness, and, and that's all there is, there is to it. On the 16th of November 2013, in his home city of Mumbai, the little master waved goodbye to cricket after an astonishing 24 years at the top of the game. Like many children of Mumbai, Sachin Tendulkar's introduction to cricket took place at Shivaji Park in the Dada area of the city. It's here that he would start to gain his reputation as a superstar in the making. The glare, the spotlight was on this, this lad as a kid and he delivered. He scored a triple hundred while he was still in primary school. That I think grabbed the headlines globally. There's been a lot of protégés turn up and, and the pressure's been too much. He delivered on the potential that was bestowed upon him and delivered on the pressure that being labelled a protégé gives you, especially in a cricket mad country like India. Performances at the Braybourne Stadium for the Cricket Club of India confirm the teenager's precocious batting talent. And in 1989, at the tender age of 16, he made his international debut with a baptism of fire in Pakistan. It's one of the toughest tour in world cricket. Sachin came into Indian team and uh, there was something different atmosphere in the team because everybody wanted to protect him, you know. And when he went and to bat, he looked class, you know. There's, there was something different in him. They were brilliant shots, cricketing shots, you know, and he made it look very simple. So that showed that this man, young boy, was really matured enough to play international cricket. His first test century came in 1990, with a mesmerising 119 not out against England at Old Trafford. So he'd heard about this youngster, he came out to bat and he got some. Straight away you could see as a 15 or 16 year old, he was a special talent. From then on, there was no stopping him. With every ball that disappeared back over the bowler's head, and with every century, Tendulkar's status as India's talisman, both on and off the pitch, gathered momentum. He's got that away, that's it. His first hundred in World Cup cricket, and his fans are loving every second of it. At the 1996 World Cup, Tendulkar was the leading run scorer, with over 500 to his name. And no one was spared, not even the great Shane Warne. And uh, that was very short. Tendulkar, amazingly, has gone straight over the bowler's head with it. Their run ended at the semi-final stage, but the Indian people had their hero, and he would remain so for years to come. Probably one of their most important and valued individuals, both as an ambassador for his country, uh, and also as, as a player they've always looked to, to champion their cause on the field. Every time he goes out to bat, it's with the hopes and aspirations of the whole Indian subcontinent on his shoulders. That's an incredible pressure to have. But it shows how many people are invested in him as a cricketer. And 
you know, that's, that's an incredible achievement to have so many people rooting for you every time you go out to bat. He's um, carried that burden and the responsibility of shouldering a, a billion hopes and being watched by a billion eyes uh, exceptionally well. Uh, it doesn't seem to have aged him. Uh, it doesn't seem to have uh, beaten him or worn him down. There it is. Listen to the applause. Sachin Tendulkar. 99 International 100. He has given them someone to truly love on the sports field, and, and I think it's good. It's good for a country. He's like a god over there. They, they love him, um, and it's amazing, and I think that's what people that have never been to India don't realise, is the expectation and pressure that's on him is unbelievable, like no other player. Well, that's a good shot. Magnificently played, racing away to the fence. He is virtually a religion. That is what they see if you've taught India as a player, and if you visited India, you would see the impact of Sachin Tendulkar. This crowd has come alive. He's somebody that has given the Indian population a lot of confidence. Uh, he's provided a lot of pride for the people of India because of what he's been able to accomplish on the field of play. And oh, solidly played, you better believe it. Well, and what a way to bring up the 50. Sachin is uh, a great example for all cricketers. He's, the way he goes about his business, um, to keep his standards as high as he did for, for such a long period of time, um, takes a, a, an awful lot of um, mental strength, I think. For me, I think Sachin has given to Indian cricket what, you know, is unbelievable. Because I remember there were no sponsors, uh, there was no logos on the shirts. Sachin came, so many sponsors came in, you know, and people started around the world, started looking at India. It was a great package for him, and we were lucky that Sachin was born in India. India's economic rise and Tendulkar's emergence as a cricketing immortal ran almost in parallel. And for the new generation of Indian cricketer, the Master Blaster was, and still is, an inspirational figure. He had such a huge impact on my life that I always used to dream about, uh, you know, winning games for India single-handedly the way he used to do it. And it would just give me goosebumps, um, you know, just watching him do special stuff like that. And so many times over the last 24 years, he's, he's given those kind of moments to, I think, all the people in India. Oh, in the air, over the top four. He has murdered that one. I can remember clearly when I was really young, I used to play with my friends and I always wanted to be Sachin. I held up the bat and I always wanted to bat like him the way he used to hit sixes down the ground with a straight bat. I always used to, you know, try to do that and, um, you know, when I would pull something off like that, I would be so happy that I, I could do something that, that's pretty similar. Oh, goodness! That has been absolutely smoked! I've had the privilege to actually play a lot of cricket alongside and actually get to know him personally as well. For me, cricket, the meaning of cricket was such in Tendulkar when I was growing up. What set the little genius apart for many, though, was the fact that his popularity wasn't merely limited to home soil, but incredibly stretched worldwide. It's very hard to measure the impact that Sachin's had on, on cricket, not just cricket in India, but cricket worldwide. I, I think he's been uh, one of its first real global superstars. You know, he's created interest in the game that wasn't there before he started. It's been incredible. A lot of people have been inspired by him as a player. Ever since he started as a 16-year-old, he has uh, attracted interests beyond India. I could recall uh, me growing up and, and watching my television. It inspired me as a young player and a player who had great ambitions of, of playing cricket for the West Indies. I know that he has done that for for cricketers world over, not just male cricketers, but female cricketers as well. I think a lot of people around the world respect everything that he's done and, and I've grown up watching him and I think he's a phenomenal player. I can't even believe that, you know, someone played 200 test matches, that's just, that's just brilliant. I played a meagre uh, 15, so to play 200 times for your country, if you think that's nearly three years worth of test cricket. I just think um, you can see the passion and the pride that he has for the game and that rubs off on the rest of us. Every time India play, I love watching him bat. Having 
been over to India and experienced how much they love cricket and he certainly um, you know brought entertainment and, and people to cricket who um, you know might not have otherwise and he's someone who everyone looks up to in the cricket world. You know there was this little guy that at 16 started uh, playing cricket um, and, and ever since has kept us all enthralled. In 2002 against the West Indies in the second test at Port of Spain, Tendulkar equaled Sir Don Bradman's record of 29 test centuries. He would add another 22 to this total before his career ended. At the World Cup in 2003, the little master again produced runs when it mattered most. Oh, he's blasted that through the offside. That's beautifully played by Tendulkar. It's running away to the boundary at extra cover for four. He was named player of the tournament and top scored yet again with a 673 run haul, but a winner's medal eluded him. That's in the air, should be taken. The World Cup for Australia. By now, Tendulkar's international career had reached its 14th year, an achievement most cricketers would happily settle for. But Sachin would continue on for another decade and rewrite the record books in the process. That's a great shot again. That's the Tendulkar trademark. I don't think you can measure Sachin's impact on the game. I think it's so enormous that I think it's, uh, you know, it's, it's almost impossible to sum up. You know, to, to achieve what he's achieved in the international game for India, I think it's incredible. Big shot, huge shot, all the way, six more. When you see Sachin Tendulkar as a cricket fan, it excites you. As an opponent, uh, your shoulders drop. And any young cricketer growing up, uh, especially as a batsman, should look to emulate um, Sachin. Tendulkar's longevity can be attributed to many things, but few would argue that his flawless technique, combined with a brilliant cricket brain, kept him at the top for 24 years. That's it beautifully by Tendulkar through mid-wicket. The thing that um, I always looked at Sachin, um, and perhaps to, to, to think about in my own game, um, was the simplicity of, of the game. He uh, always had um, the most amazing bat face on the ball, uh, the whole Indian wrist thing and the ability that he had to put the ball into the spaces in the field and just to keep his game plan really simple, I think. Technically, it makes him so good, as, I guess his understanding of the game, the way he reads the game. Uh, you, you know, you only get that kind of experience with the amount of games that you've played. And if you've played 200 test matches, well, that's a lot of experience. The hand-eye coordination for me, I just think is phenomenal. I think in terms of piercing the field and whether it be an ODI cricket or test cricket, just, yeah, just phenomenal. And just the way he goes about his innings, just building these innings, hitting down the ground, hitting through the covers. Yeah, just, just brilliant to watch. From a pure betting perspective, he just had the greatest balance. He just made batting look simple and easy. Oh, he's nicely tucked that away. And this might actually go to the ropes. Tremendous timing from Tendulkar. You know, it always looks when he's at the crease like he's got it under control and, and nothing really phases him. So I think, you know, especially at an international level in India where there's so much pressure on their players to perform, I think, um, you know, his ability to, to be calm at the crease you know, not only helps him, but I think helps his teammates as well. So I think um, makes him a very special player. The one thing you think about Sachin is that there doesn't seem to be any chinks in that armour at all. Like, that's one thing I've been reading Ricky Ponting's book about, you know, read the great players. And he says that even though there are times he could play the likes of Brian Lara and you'd be left absolutely gobsmacked with thinking, how are we going to get this guy out? He said at times, because he was so aggressive and wanted to dominate the game, you still thought you were a chance. But he said, conversely, when you face Sachin, a lot of the time he just looked absolutely imperious. Didn't feel like he had to boss the game or anything like that, which made it even worse for the players in the field. It made you think, we have just got absolutely no hope of getting this guy out. He's got a sound defence as well as attack. I think lots of people in modern day cricket think it's about hitting the ball. But if you don't have a sound defence, then you're in trouble and Sachin's displayed that over a long period of time. With the shots on the bat foot, when you see today also that highlight, you know, playing to the ballers back and that punch he has got, you know, I think I have not seen a player who will have that punch, you know, they does something on the bat foot, goes and just does this, the ball goes like a rocket, you know. Magnificent, he got on top of the bounce and with an almost vertical bat, punched it off the back foot, trademark Tendulkar. He carried himself 
out in the middle with a, a huge amount of quiet self-confidence. So when you play against him, he definitely knows what he's dealing with or, and how to deal with it. I know I've played against him a couple times where I just felt like he had every answer in the book to what I was throwing at him. Great shot. And it's going to be six. Dale Steyn is getting some stick out here in that pool. The Little Master's ability to adapt his batting style was the main reason why no matter where the Indian team travelled to in the world, he was able to rack up big scores, no matter what the conditions. He goes to Australia and dominates, he goes to South Africa and dominates, he comes to England and dominates. That shows a player who has mastered the art of batting and a player who has been able to, to set himself apart from the group of cricketers he's played alongside. I was fortunate enough to do a Boxing Day test at the MCG, India versus Australia. It was Brett Lee's first game, Shane Warne was at the top of his game, but Sachin Tendulkar just made the, the batting look easy. It was a fantastic innings. And people ask me about best innings I've seen, that is the one for me. He's one of the very few players that's got the complete package. He can play in every form of the game. He scores phenomenally consistently in every form of the game. His technique is the sort of technique that everyone wants, wants to copy. There's a reason everyone wants to be Sachin Tendulkar is because he's kind of the perfect cricketer. In 2010, Tendulkar entered the record books again, becoming the first player to score a double century in one-day international cricket. South Africa were the victims this time, but all eyes were on 2011 and the last chance for the god of Indian cricket to get his hands on a World Cup winner's medal. India were joint hosts and the final would be played in his home city of Mumbai. Like so many times before, Sachin would rise to the Cricket World Cup challenge. Big shot, good shot, made sure that it was wide off mid on. Centuries came against South Africa and England as India marched through to the knockout stages. Five World Cup hundreds for the little master, more than any other player in the history of the game. He is a genius. In the quarter-finals, Australia was subjected to the full Tendulkar repertoire, while in the semi-final, a man of the match winning 85 sent old rivals Pakistan crashing out. It was a googly, but it was just a little wide. And so deft there, Tendulkar. When MS Dhoni hit the winning runs against Kumar Sangakkara's Sri Lanka, the stadium erupted with joy. But no one summed up the Indian people's feelings for Tendulkar that night better than India's newest star, Virat Kohli, who said, He's carried the burden of the nation for 21 years, so it's time we carried him on our shoulders. When you listen to Sachin Tendulkar after that accomplishment, he puts that very high in terms of, of, of his greatest moments in, in playing the sport. And that shows that he is not really consumed with himself and his own performance. He wants to contribute, but I think the ultimate goal of Sachin Tendulkar is for his team to cross the line to win matches. And that, to me, is what distinguishes Sachin Tendulkar from the others. On the 16th of March 2012, in a one-day international against Bangladesh, Tendulkar amazingly recorded his 100th and final international 100 an achievement unlikely ever to be matched again. So where does the man rank among the greats of the game? There's Bradman, who averaged 99 in Test cricket. But I think Sachin sits at the top of the other list. When I was playing cricket, and we had to come up against uh, Sunil Gavaskar, and, and I literally felt there will never ever be a better batsman from India than Sunil Gavaskar, but this little guy come in and, and he's actually shown that he is actually above those kind of men. It is incredibly hard to, to compare players of different generations. And you know, obviously what Bradman did was incredible. What Sachin's done is amazing. You know, those are the kind of players who will go down, you know, they, they sit at the top of the table of world cricket and the history of cricket. I, I don't think we'll see anyone like him or the performances he's done for quite some time. You, know, you can mention Bradman, you're going to mention Tendulkar in the same sort of breath, I think. That's beautifully played. The master at work. Well, Sachin's right up there in the top two or three 
best cricketers ever, I think. Uh, you can make an argument that Don Bradman maybe was a better batsman. There's been players who have averaged more than him, but he's got the most centuries, he's got the most runs. He's maintained his performance the whole way along, which has always been at that great level, the high 50s. If you look at the different forms of the game Sachin played, his consistency, his longevity, all the things we've talked about, he's created the sort of records that people would scarcely believe possible 20 years ago. But I don't really uh, see myself comparing players of different eras. Sachin Tendulkar, to me, in his era, he's the ultimate cricketer. He is the best cricketer to have played the game. I grew up where it was always a contest, who's better, whether it's Brian Lara or Sachin Tendulkar. And, um, you know, as a West Indian, you always say, um, OK, Brian is, is, is my favourite. You know, um, but when you look at um, what Sachin has done to play for 24 years, and he still looks like he just started. Best cricket role model for for a lot of um, young creators coming up. So who's greatest, uh, Sachin Tendulkar? <laughs> <laughs> I would answer that when I'm back in the Caribbean. <laughs> Whatever your opinion. With an international career that reached 663 Test and One Day Internationals, over 34,000 runs and 100 centuries, one thing there is no argument about is that Sachin Tendulkar's cricketing legacy will live forever. He is somebody that the game, the fans, the officials, everybody who has had some sort of interaction with cricket would miss the presence of Sachin Tendulkar on a cricket field. That's in the air, straight to Tendulkar. Can you believe it? Sachin is uh, a legend of the game because he embodies everything a, a cricketer wants to be. Oh, that was glorious. An expert in his chosen craft, but at the same time, uh, an individual who inspires other people to do better. Statistics don't lie over a long period of time, and to play 200 test matches and score the amount of runs he has is, is phenomenal. Um, and I don't think any player, certainly in my time, will do that again. 100 international hundreds, that's going to be very hard to beat. Beautifully played. That is a gorgeous stroke. You know, I want to wish him all the best in his future endeavours. He's basically a god now. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a pity that he has to go, but he's been around for long enough now. But uh, what he's done for the game is huge. So I know whatever he probably touches will, will turn gold. And a lot of us will be looking back in you know, 10, 20, 30 years time and saying, we got to see Sachin Tendulkar and we're very appreciative we did. He's led an extraordinary life because of the spotlight he's in and he's handled all that with immense dignity, whilst being a very humble human being and just a cricketer the like of which I don't think we'll ever see again. We need to ensure that, that Sachin Tendulkar and his legacy lives on and we need to create more young players along the likes and along the form of Sachin Tendulkar so that this game could continue to live on. Sachin leaves behind not only statistics, but he leaves behind an exemplary life of cricket on the field and, uh, and off the field. And I think if most cricketers can follow that example, the game will be much the richer one. Could well be four again. That's a third batting by this young star. Oh, he's got that away too. He's on fire. Extraordinary timing. What a shot. Beautiful. Fantastic play from an amazing player.